Hey, superhumans. I believe that every one of us is a teacher. Every single day, we have the opportunity to teach people how we would like them to treat us. And the way we do that is by how we treat people, how our actions are perceived by the people around us. That's going to give them a good indication of the way we would like to be treated. So whenever you look at people who have done you wrong or you hold on to grudges or you hold on to that person was a dickhead or that person was an asshole or whatever it is, whenever you hold on to that, you're teaching people that you're somebody that holds grudges and that if they do you wrong, you're going to never forget about it, which makes it a bit uneasy for people to be around you. If they think that a simple little thing that they do, a wee slip up or, or if they make a mistake or if they lie to you because they think it's for your better good or if it's just a white lie in their mind, there's a wee bit of worry that you might blow that out of proportion, that you might hold on to that. But the flip side of that is, if you're teaching people that you're forgiven, you have a forgiving nature, that you're willing to listen to both sides of the story, you're willing to listen to why people act and, and do the things that they do, it's going to give people a much nicer feeling when they're around you. They're going to know that it's a safer place to be. Like, we're all human, we all make mistakes. I know I talk about being superhuman the whole time. But it's why we're superhuman, not superheroes. We're superhuman because we're human, but we're trying to be better every day. We exercise, we eat healthy, we aim to do our best all the time. If you aim to do your best, and the people around you see that, they see that Liam's someone that always aims to do his best, and I'm teaching those people that that's a, a core value of mine, a value that, that I really appreciate in others, that if they want to get the best out of being around me and the best out of themselves and they should just aim to do their best that if they make mistakes they fall they feel I'll be there to help them and to guide them where I can to just be an ear to listen if if needs be so think about yourself as a teacher you're teaching the people around you to treat you the way you want to be treated without telling them this is how I would like to be treated you teach them with your actions the way you live your life will indicate to them that you're a moral person, you're trustworthy, you're someone who will do what they say they're going to do. Whatever it is, whatever you would want in your circle around you, live your life that way. Show the people around you that that's what you believe and that's who you are as a person and that's what you would like the people around you to be. So whenever you think about it, we're all teachers. We teach people how to use apps. We teach people how to um, drive we teach people how to be more aware of themselves we teach people how to have more spiritual awareness how to read we teach people how to write like it's not just school that teaches we teach people all the time maybe you just teach your friends that if they add a certain cheese to their macaroni and cheese it's much nicer or if they add a bit more salt and pepper to their steak then it's going to bring out the flavor we're constantly adding little things that we've learned from our life into other people's lives if you're aware of that, then you can add more goodness to people's lives and things that will filter back to you. So like I said, we teach people all the time how to treat us. So if people treat us badly, we've taught them that they can do that because we're a walkover, we're a pushover, we're going to lie down and let them. The less people that, that you teach that to, the less people are going to walk over you, the more people will know that if they attempt it, you're going to stand up for yourself. You're someone that believes in yourself and you're convicted in whatever it is that you, whatever you believe in, you're going to stick to. You're not someone that just jumps and is wishy-washy and goes from one thing to the other and, and hopes that something finally works out. If you do that, then that's what you teach people, that you're flighty, you're wishy-washy, you're not likely to stay the course or stick to your guns or whatever. So it's worth challenging you because you'll most likely back down. So what I'm saying really is that think about what you want people to to think of you, what, people, what you want people to look at you and think, right, that, type, that person is this type of person. So if I treat them this way, I will build better rapport and have a much better relationship. And if I do this, they're probably going to get rid of me. Then if you do have to get rid of people in the future, it's not going to be that shocking to them because they know, well, I was an asshole and you don't put up with assholes, so fair enough. Or... You're going to teach yourself your boundaries. You're going to reinforce all this stu stuff for you because you know you're paying more attention to who you want to be and how you want to live your life. And because you're doing that, you're more self-aware. The more self-awareness you have, the less likely you are to put up with things that aren't for your higher good. 
to remember that we are all teachers all the time and and personally i think that we should all teach people to be superhuman the more superhumans we have the better life will be so let me know what type of person you are in the comments below and i will try to treat you that way in the future thanks again for tuning in have an amazing day whatever you get up to and i will speak again tomorrow